Hello and welcome back. Rain, wetness, there's a lot of it out there at the moment. However, there isn't so much on the likes of iRacing. It's always been a feature that's been missing from iRacing. And sim racers have been clamouring to have it in there. And after the November 23 development blog that came out a couple of weeks ago, we have some hope that it's going to be uh, put in there. Uh, well, hashtag soon. But I want it now! But we're hoping in December in the new build. So let's have a look and see what it's going to do. Here is the uh, said blog. And uh, you see a lovely MX-5 with some uh, rain there. But here's what they have to say about the weather stroke rain. And now for another big picture update that I know many have been following closely. The status of our advanced new weather system called Tempest internally. While we aren't quite ready to guarantee it for December, we know confidently enough to say that the release of this incredibly complex system is imminent. That means it's going to rain soon. <laughs> Tempest was built from the ground up and consists of several interconnected systems that simulate not only rain and the effect that water has on the track, race cars and surrounding area, but also the physical components that combine to create various types of weather. The system is fueled by extensive real-world data from the very locations where you will you'll be racing. Together with our dynamic track system, the combined experience is unparalleled in simulation stroke gaming. I think ACC has um, a pretty high bar with this. I think they do uh, aquaplaning and um, simulate rubber being taken off the line and puddles and all sorts of stuff to do with rain. So I think they've got a fairly high bar to be going at. It's, it's hard to describe until you can experience it for yourself. But for those of you who race at these tracks in the real world and have had the fortune <laughs> or misfortune to do so in the wet, reliving that in eye racing with physically accurate and true to life puddling is like nothing else out there. Now, I will say before I continue with this, I have driven at Donington in some of the most horrendous chucking it down conditions and driving in the wet is something complex completely different on a racetrack it um it adds an extra squeaky bum feel put it that way <laughs> uh, you will feel that the tug of resistance when you drive through those wet areas when things get really dicey you'll experience aquaplaning wait until you see our aero heavy race cars vacuum up the water from the track and redistribute it into the air and elsewhere on the track, drying the racing line rapidly in the process. Recalibrate your expectations on what a race has in store for you as you search for the line based on the multitude of dynamics at play and the always changing nature of the track and weather systems. Or if you see a dark cloud looming on the horizon, is it on the way to you? Have your teammate check the weather radar or query your crew chief for an update. That's surprisingly difficult to say. To make sure expectations are set properly, we do want everyone to understand that this system requires per car development, which is probably a good thing, isn't it? Daft? So it sort of it bodes well that they're doing it per car. It's not as simple as adding a generic rain tire onto our vehicles. Rather. We're doing a car-by-car R&D to ensure proper rain tyre construction and modelling and driving characteristics. Which is probably right because, you know, every car is going to have different rain tyres anyway, just as they'd have different slicks on. Uh, as a result, rain support will be ad added to the sim in batches, starting with a compelling initial offering that is likely to include a Formula 1600, Toyota GR86 and the Ferrari 296 GT3. Well, that's not too bad. I don't mind the F1600. It's an interesting little car, that. And uh, the Toyota GR86 is actually quite a nice car. I quite like that, actually. So that could be a good little uh, thing to be doing in December. Fingers crossed the rain comes, eh? Some GR86 wetness. We are quite proud of what we have built, and we are even more excited to release it to iRacers. 
We all look forward to making it rain. Hashtag soon. It's quite an interesting thing they've got going there. I think if we go a bit further down here, um, they talk about tracks and cars that are coming up. Uh, Magello. Magello. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Okayama's getting uh, a, a bit of a do-over because it's quite old and it, it, needs a, it needs a facelift. So they're, they're doing that. I say that a little bit off the uh, cuff there, but uh, I think they put quite a bit of work into redoing Okayama. But uh, there's also there's also a few nice uh, pictures of uh, various bits in the rain. Nice nice dots of rain on the windscreen. But uh, they've also got some nice audio clips, which sound pretty good. I believe that's the MX-5. Square there. You can hear the rain falling on the roof. Body. Definite spray in that. Wipers. And rain just bouncing off bodies. Might be in the GT86, you know. Off the tin roof. But yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds decent. I mean it looks decent as well if you if I find the find the pictures again. Rain. No, it's, it's difficult to tell from rain. But if you look on this picture, there's uh there's the puddles there. A nice bit of there's a change in the way the uh, car reflects the sun there with the, the water droplets picking up the sun. That's quite a nice little detail. Always me worry when uh, wetness is put into a game is that the grip level of a circuit is just going to be lowered and it just becomes like driving on ice. It's There's a, there's a lot of subtleties, as, as they say, to making a wet circuit um, drive nicely. Like... You're going to get puddles of water, you're going to have bits of grip in some places. In a, in a dry circuit, you get all the rubber laying down off the tyres. And then if you chuck water over the top of that, that becomes like an ice rink. And suddenly the grip is offline. And I'd love to see that sort of thing shown up in iRacing, where you've got to actually take a weird line. I mean, I take weird lines anyway, so I've got a, <laughs> a better chance on that. But yeah, you've got to take weird lines in the wet, because that's where the grip is. And... I think ACC does that. I don't know particularly, but uh, it would be great to have a go at that and see if if some different lines can come through. And then when you've got puddles uh, pooling in certain places on track, you're going to have to avoid the puddles. Otherwise, you're going to just like overwhelm the tyre with water and uh, aquaplane or not be able to brake properly. Or like they, they talk about feeling the pull of uh, driving through water which you know i mean if anybody's driven on the motorway when it's chucking it down with rain and you've gone through a puddle at like a a, a rate of knots which is uh, which is more than like driving around the town at 30 if you're driving at 70 in the motorway and you hit a puddle how much the wheel pulls you over and the whole car is like Ugh. yeah so th there's all that to sort of uh, to model as well and then like as I was saying, that, that sound, the sound actually sounds quite good. Driving on a track when it's wet is just so completely different to driving when it's dry. The, the, the grip level can be just so up and down and so all over the place. And, like, I've driven on damp, greasy circuits as well. And to say that the grip level can be just, like completely like, almost like dry circuit. And then you'll be, you'll be coming out of a corner and, like... The, the grip can just disappear like that, and it's it's so weird to be drying on a greasy, dry, and or just getting wet track compared to drive, uh, driving on like a fully chucking it down, saturated, soaking track. That is an experience, like not being able to see ahead of you, and the just the the extra awareness. You're suddenly like, oh my goodness, I'm driving around here at like silly speeds. Everything is just dialed up to 10 in the wet, which would be nice to... You're not going to get the exact same thing in a, driving a sim. You know what I race, and they, they are particularly in on the detail of doing stuff. So, 
I am looking forward to this. I'm, I'm sure some of you lot are looking forward to it as well. Yeah, it has, it has great potential, but hopefully it comes out and it's not terrible and it's not buggy and we can, we can, we can be positive for once. Let's be positive. This is going to be great. Yay! <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think of this. Do you think it's going to work? Do you think? Uh, do you think there's anything I've missed that you'd like to see about dynamic weather in there? What do you think of the features that they've added here? Do you think there's enough there? Do you think they're going to have done the aquaplane and right? Do you think we're going to have different wet lines? Do you think uh, rubber's going to disappear off the track when it does? Do you think we're going to do nice dry and half dry, half wet, greasy circuits? What do you think about all that? Yeah, um, I think it's got potential. But anyway... If you've liked the look into iRacing's development of wet physics tempest, please leave a like. If you've really liked it, consider subscribing. And bye for now.